Okay, I would like to say a few things on behalf of my mother, okay. Helen Epps Reese. She was my mother, my father, my friend, my confidant. She was everything, everything to me. And her birthday was January the 15th. And 1938, right? Yeah, 1938. And she was all, she was a good woman. She used to get everybody together, all my friends, family, everybody together and treat everybody out. Everybody just have a good time, you know, every month. And she would give you her last. She was good as gold, sweet as gold, sweet as mom you would ever want to know. She always was there for me, no matter good times, bad times, happy times, sad times. She was always there for me and my children. And your friends. And, and my friends and her ch they children. And I just wanted to get everybody together on behalf of her and just celebrate her, you know. Celebrate her life. She would celebrate her life because she was a good person. And she was wonderful, and she was sweet, and she was just everything good. And, you know, she is, she was 72 years of age when she left, and I feel like she still was gone too soon, you know, just too soon. And, um, we really miss her. And if it was a song that I had to sing on behalf of her leaving, it would be I always love my mama. She's my favorite girl. <laughs> that song. But, and I always will love her. This picture with me and all of my kids, she was an inspiration to all of us. And she was always there, never left our side, always there with all of us. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, true and holy, tried and true. And with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Oh, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, true and holy, tried and true. And with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Lord. Hi, I would like to share with you this story that my mother told me when I was younger. Um, she told me she was working two jobs, and what happened was, while she was working two jobs, she was getting off the bus to come home, and she had a stroke. Now, when she, re she went to the hospital, and she returned home to us, but I'd like to say I thank the Lord for allowing my mother to stay on this earth to raise us. Because that stroke could have been her last step. But God bless her to stay here with us. I would like to take this moment out to pay homage and tribute to a wonderful lady. One that I admire. One that I had so many wonderful talks to on the phone. One that I just really enjoyed. She had a beautiful spirit. And I just miss her. We all miss her. Her name is Miss Helen. 
Reese. May she live with the Lord and be blessed. I love you, Miss Reese. This is to you. Why should I feel discouraged? Why should my shadows come? And why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven, heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion. A constant friend is he. His eye is on, is on the sparrow. And I know he, he watches me. I sing because I'm, I'm happy. I sing because I'm free. His eye, his eye, his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he, he watches me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said one more. 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 Here's one more for Miss Reese. I love you. Truth is it's time. Options are few. I'm trying to pray. But where are you? I'm all church style. Hurt and abused. I can't fade what's left to do. Truth is I'm weak. No strength to find. No tears to cry. Even if I try. But still my soul refuses to die. Mm -hmm. One touch will change my life. Take me to the key. I don't have much to bring. My heart's done in pieces. It's my offering. Lay me at the throne. Leave me there alone to gaze upon your glory. Sing to you this song. Please take me to the key. Truth is it's time to stop playing these games. We need a word. For the people's pain. So let's speak right now. Let it fall like rain. Oh yeah. We're desperate. We're chasing after you. Oh yeah. 
no rules, no religion. I made my decision to run to you, the healer that I need. Take me to the key. I don't have much to bring. My heart's torn in pieces, yeah. It's my offering. Lay me at the throne. Leave me there alone to gaze upon your glory. She had a one-bedroom apartment, and we all used to gather in her apartment and stay there. And it was six, you know, six of us and my mom. And so that made eight people in a one-bedroom apartment. So all of us was up in my grandma's house. And my grandmother, you know, we was always with my grandma. You know, just like my mother was always with us. And my mother was always humble to her mother. I never heard her say nothing, you know, mean or rude or arrogant to her mother. You know, she was always real smart and humble with her mother. And, you know, she loved her mother very much. Her mother was always there, never left her side. And she was the same with us. And my grandma, she was a really sweet woman. Left at 82 years old, and she was just a beautiful spirit to know. She didn't play no games. <laughs> We're grandbabies. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so the reason that I had um, Brenda tell us a little bit about how her mother's relationship was with her uh, mother is to, because it's a, it's a very good example of how the divine order that God has set in place for us to love and honor our uh, mother and father. And by, I believe that, you know, what the Bible says by that, you know, by doing so, your days will be, will be longer. And we know that Miss Reese lived a long life and that the Lord has blessed looking at the life of Miss Reese and uh, her mother, which is Brenda's grandmother, uh, you know, the Lord has blessed the family, it seems, with 
long life. And we hope that this can be an example to the future generations and the generations now. So, and we also, I know this is about this, um, we're, uh, we're here remembering the life of Miss Reese, but we truly want to pray a special blessing on the Reese family, the Livingston family, that they will, they too will live a long and prosperous life. I pray for long life over Brenda. I pray for long life over Cherry, John Tay, um, Brandon, and John, and um, Darlene. And everybody who's here, yeah. but especially the Livingston's, Reese, and now Patterson's mm-hmm. family. And we truly thank God for yes, what he is doing in the lives of his family. Yes. Amen. That's sweet. Can I say something on behalf of mine? She was the kid by herself. She was the kid by herself. What she used to do when you kept her inside? What is one something you remember that she used to do? To she used to watch me and my sister. She used to make us soup. And what the movie called? It was the movies. Yeah. And the pan ravioli. Like her And she would be watching TV. She loved to stop. So. That was nice. Yes. That's sweet. Thank you, Tanya. So Ebony is going to attempt to sing a song. And this will be the end. Tanya, oh, Darlene want to say something. Tanya, 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 Tanya. Oh, you said something over something. Hey, come on. Everybody, let's sing this song together. And repeat after me. The saints of God shall take the kingdom. We don't know it. The of God shall take the kingdom. Shall take the kingdom. Shall right. take the kingdom. And I have spent a short time with this very heavenly family here. And I would just like to say that Miss Reese, if she had any shared relationship with you, your mother, I can see her in you. In anything, I haven't known her, but I can just see that she is radiating from love. And... Just having this time with you guys really made my night. And just I'm gonna have a blessed Sunday tomorrow. So thank you very much. Come on now. When the saints go marching in. Oh how I love to be in the number. Oh, when the saints go marching in, when the saints go marching in.